three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. How you doing, little dirty? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something you might like to hear. I tell you, see my own. No, I know you guys think I'm going to do ASMR, and I'm gonna go. But I was just with you. One day I will do an ASMR video and you guys should comment down below if that's what you want. I can't take myself seriously and do a full makeup tutorial and give you guys knowledge at the same time and do ASMR. That's going to confuse the living f out of me. And I feel like I'm going to be like nervous to do the ASMR correctly. So I can't give you my honest opinion of what I think about these products. If they worked, if they didn't work, or how they sat on my skin, so on and so forth. So let's get right into this. We are doing drugstore makeup that I have never used before. I haven't tried it on. This is a first impressions video of drugstore makeup. So let us begin. A lot of people have been talking about this product from Pixi. Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist with seven flower oils of Vic. It is kind of like a spray moisturizer, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna use this as a dupe for the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. You always shake the shit up. ASMR for you right there. I don't know why I have this habit. I always like spray out first before my face. I don't know why it's become a habit then. Smells nice. I don't know if this happens to you guys. Sometimes when I use like a dewy skin mist spray, random texture will show up on my skin. And this is me personally. I don't find it on other skin. I have like sensitive skin. So that's what I'm like waiting for if the texture is going to pop up. So far so good. Since we are quarantined, I decided I'm taking my ass to Miami in my own head. Therefore, I'm wearing this gorgeous top that reminds me of Miami and we got some jewelry going on. And check out the back, it's like Ritmo. That's the type of glam I'm gonna give myself with these drugstore products. The first thing I do is going to be brows and I am using Revlon Colorstay in dark brown. I always like to go in on my arch first and notice how I'm not wearing tapes. Are you guys not proud of me? Some of you guys have been like going in on me on the comments thinking I wear them every day or something. So I am going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium sand. Now you guys, honestly, truly, honestly, a lot of people like will be like, what shade is something? Just because I'm using a certain shade doesn't mean this is the shade you should be using because we have different skin tones. You're gonna have to like learn how to shade match. And if you guys want me to do a video like really in depth, just talking off your brain about like learning how to shade match, please comment down below. I am still, not forfeiting my brushes for drugstore brushes. So I'm using the Makeup Forever 300 straight brush. I am just going to clean up. I actually like the coverage and the color. It's pretty. It reminds me of NARS, the creamy concealer in the shade Custard. Like I feel like that's the vibes it's giving me. I feel like I like tweezed this eyebrow so good and this one, like there's like hairs right there could have like cleaned up better but whatever you're not judging me right i really like the texture of this concealer but let's see like it withstands with a mixture of other products i always think that's like a really important factor of a product because like sometimes it'll be good and then like when you mix it up with like powder or shadow or so on and so forth like it'll change up so it doesn't dry quick it's quite dewy it has like medium coverage first applied i applied two layers it has full coverage so now i'm going to extend that product onto my eyelids and i'm going to use it as a primer darling have you guys been entertaining yourself while on quarantine? If you guys know of any good shows, because I feel like I've watched almost all of them in the background while I've been doing other things, please let your girl know. So I'm just gonna pack that in with a synthetic brush from Morphe M173. Honestly, I'm very impressed. I'm extremely impressed by the way it's applying. 
and I thought I wasn't going to be for some reason. This is not a sponsored video of any brand. I'm going to be brutally honest. Just because you don't like one product from a brand doesn't mean it's a bad brand. That means maybe that one product didn't work for you. It might work for somebody else. So if I say like something is bad, it was just bad for me. It might not be bad for you, you might like it. I don't know. Your girls usually write about a lot of things. I'm just trying to be like nice. You don't understand, I've been hanging out with this dog 24 hours a day and she's still not satisfied. She won't like let me film this. Like this is crazy. My name's Maya and this bitch works for me. I'm the motherfucking boss. If I was really in Miami right now and I was planning on going to church, I would be using a Beret Minora Balat from Wet n Wild from the drugstore. If you guys don't know who Bretman is, you live under a rock. That motherfucker is funny as hell. I've known him for a hot minute. Like he is somebody I really respect for being true to himself throughout so many years. Now what I already realized is that there's some cracing already on my lids but that could possibly be because i'm under bright lights right now and so your eyelids are very sweaty uh, very sweaty it is the sweatiest part on your face if you do not know now you know the more you know I will pack that in with a booty blender. I'm going to go in with Aqua Insurance from JCAT Cosmetics in the shade Natural. I'm going to just pack that in to my crease so this product becomes like easier to blend, you know? This product gets an A plus from me. I am going to grab a diffused blender brush from Makeup Addiction. You know what I really love about this bitch? The fucking names he chose, ape shit. We are going uh, pounce on them, flamingo, feline myself. You can play that game, alpha. I like you, I like you a lot. I am going to go in with pounce on them and we are going to pounce on the palette. It's a brand new palette, so I'm really going to finesse the color with this brush. Tap it out and then lightly tug. And remember, my whole theory on just applying color is going to be place and then we blend. A cool tip for you guys, anytime you get a fresh shadow palette, make sure to like kind of like graze that top part off, like the baking part, like when it gets pressed in, it's not giving you the most pigment. And then I'm gonna bring that shade in. I am going to grab a Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JW32. So now I'm going to go back on the aqua assurance and i'm actually gonna diffuse around it to tone down that like red color just on the edges so it gives you a more seamless blend i like the color it's very pigmented now i am going to go in with a morphe m433 brush in ape shit we are going to just Put it on the corner and work my way in to my direct crease. So these two colors actually like married quite well. And I'm going to pat that in. Cause you know I can like never step away from just like a cat eye, like shape, even in any color is just like my whole vibe forever in life and always. Okay, so honestly for drugstore, the blend on this eyeshadow is very impressive not even drugstore just in general so you're just gonna tap that in now we are going back to the brush that we used pounce on them just gonna lightly clean it off and this is the brush you're gonna use to blend all of those colors together you know what i can't stand when people don't clean their eye boogers like disgust.com. Honestly, we're with two colors. We made it seem like it's like a whole blend situation going on with a bunch of colors. Now for the center tour, I am just going to hit it right there. The way the concealer went over the powder, very good job, I like. I am going to use 
a Morphe M166 brush and going into Coconut Connoisseur. And I'm going to tap that on the inner corner and bring that into the ape shit. Do you guys like it? So with the same Coconut Connoisseur, I am going to go in and hit it at the arch of my brow to tone down and that's orange zone. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Matte. They needed to tell you twice, bitch, because you didn't get it the first time. So I am going to go in on my tight line, lower lash line too, because like, why not just like be so psychotic right now? So I did notice like my inner corner was wet. It's not going over the wet area. You know what I mean? Like obviously your waterline is dry, but then like sometimes when like your eyes get a little watery, maybe it's not your vibe, but it is really dark. It went on easily. See like this inner corner wasn't wet. Look at how much it went on versus the other one. So we're gonna do that inner corner thing that I do with the flick of the wrist. Look like it's wet over here and it keeps skipping. Now I'm gonna blend it out. I am using Laura Mercy brush. I'm just going to like rub that out because that was not the vibe. Kind of made it like look messy. It's okay. We have the Revlon liquid liner and color stay sharp line and we're just gonna go over it. The felt tip is nice. That went on beautifully. I like it. Oh, I actually like it thicker. Which one do you guys like more? I like that one more. And if you guys have like a fold here, like on one eye I have a fold and the other one I don't, I always like go like this and then that way I can get in here. I'm gonna go in with a makeup remover and clean that. Now we are going into foundation. So I figured if I liked the J-Cat powder so much, I might like their foundations. There's like a bunch of them. I'm just gonna try to color match them. Again, I've never tried this before. It's called Skin Surin's Max Coverage Silky Foundation. So I'm guessing it's going to have like a dewy effect. I'm going to use this Tarte Double Duty Beauty hair comb thingy and mix those two colors together. Well, the color is the match, if I do say so myself. This reminds me if the Giorgio Armani foundation had fuller coverage and a tiny bit more matte. So now I'm gonna do my forehead. It dries fast, I can tell you that much. I thought it was gonna be like it went on dewier. Like if you're into a more dewy texture, the L'Oreal True Match to me I feel like it has more dewy, but this is like really full coverage. Like the more it dries, the, the fuller coverage it shows. The liquid liner and the inside eyeliner, I hate it, sorry. It's so dry. Now I'm gonna go into Maybelline, the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation in the color 125 Coconut. And I'm gonna use it as a contour color, but it's a foundation. I'm using a Beach Cosmetics number no. six brush. I'm gonna start on my forehead and see. Ooh, I like that color. That worked out great. I think like the J Cat one says that it's like dewy, but like it's not that dewy. And this is kind of like bringing dewiness into the mix. So the both of them are doing the damn thing together. The reason why I like this brush, it just like kind of um, does it for you, you know? I'm gonna take the back of this and pound in that J-Cat a little bit so it's like more defined. Using the Sigma Edge Precision P87 brush, I am going to go into my nose. My aunt is calling. Hi, Hi Hi, I'm good. I'm filming a video. Oh, it's okay. It's just on. Lava corner. Lava corner. One second, go. In Yeah. It's okay. Use this time for reflection and shit. Um. No in bonnet. Eh? Mm -hmm. What? Eh? Oh, the pretty little things interview? Uh, Thank you. Huh. Okay, head song. Merci. But as you were chasing, head song.
Okay, oh, bye. bye, hot code. That was my auntie. You never disrespect your aunties, you guys. Now let's see what this medium sand can do for me for under my eyes. You can use any synthetic flat small brush for this. Okay, this should dry fast under my eye, but then on my forehead didn't. It like literally dried already. That coverage is insane though. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Remember that? Everyone wouldn't shut the f up with their damn Daniels. Where did Daniel go? <laughs> damn, Daniel. Damn. So for translucent powder, I am actually just going to use the natural from the Aqua Assurance. Sorry guys, I'm gonna use a pressed powder for underneath my eye. I have like a lot of texture on my skin right now because I tried out a new face wash and I hate to say it like over and over again. My skin is sensitive, like a little baby. I haven't been able to get a facial. So that really covered up a lot. I'm gonna go on the rest of my face. My pace with light beige. Using this giant ass Dior brush, number 14. From Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. So like I wanted like a glowy thing, like a Serge Lutens type of vibe. I was trying to find that for you guys. I know that brand is like super expensive. I don't know, like this kind of looked like it could be the same, but let's see if we like it. I feel like I didn't like a lot of things that I put on my face. No, this is not like Serge Lutens. It's like Lorac. Okay, I'm gonna pick up on this Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. The bronzer was 110 and then the highlighter's 202. The reflect is crazy. There's a lot of fallout though. Remember, it's Miami. We wanna look really dewy. We are gonna go visit down the bridge of my nose. It's like very glittery. It gives a good reflect, but like there was like a shit ton of fallout everywhere. I'm just gonna be like extra and probably go with the red lip. Um, we're gonna do the L'Oreal. Now I have literally like three dangle lashes and lash extensions. I don't know what they're holding on for. You guys, no joke, the glitter got up here. While we let the mascara dry, I'm gonna do the lip. I'm gonna use the Milani Cosmetics. They had a collab with Salt and Peppa. I like how it's going on. Oh, that glides on like fucking better. Love, absolutely love, love, love the lip liner. What color is this? Oh, of course it's called Push It. Push it real good. Now we take out the lipstick. This is also called the Push It uh, 26. Okay, she's a coral red. So on my head, since we're going to Miami, I want my lips a wet. Ferocity by Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild. I like the gold reflect against the coral red. It like really makes it look expensive. I have to say the bronzer sucks ass. There's no bronze on my face. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Foreplay blush. So it's a baked blush, so there's a shimmer in it too. So there's a bunch of shimmer all over my face, but no color. I feel like I like mixed up three reflex, but somehow kind of like it. Now I'm going to go in with some eyelashes. These are lashes I've used before. I'm just gonna clean them up. By the way, my dog still has been patiently waiting right now, right next to me the entire time for me to carry her. That's how you know she's like my animal. She's persistent. She is my dog. That's like me. Like if you tell me no, I'm like, no, not going nowhere till we get this done. That's like my whole philosophy in life. Just like unstoppable. I've never done a video like this. This is my first time I've like used makeup I've never used before. Some I liked. Some were interesting. And again, if like I don't like something doesn't mean that like it's the end of the world and you guys should hate it. Maybe it works out for you and maybe it just didn't work out for me. I did not like the liner at all. I like dried out. I'm obsessed with the lip. Like the lip combo is everything. It's giving me life. The powder, J-Cat powder, I really like. The foundation, I like it, but it's not like I'm used to wearing high-end foundation and maybe that's why I'm judging it harshly. I'm not gagging for it, you know what I mean? The concealer, I'm very impressed with. So I think I probably shouldn't have like did my mascara 
and then did the highlighter because I think like the specks got into my lashes and it's not the cleanest thing, but what are we gonna do? It's not the end of the world. I'm just gonna separate like the mascara lash with a spoolie, kind of worked. I will be responding to comments down below for this because like I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit and then see like how it holds because sometimes I feel like some makeup doesn't hold that well. I wanna make my face a little bit dewy or like real dewy, not just like glitter. Cause you know, if I'm gonna pretend I'm in Miami, like my skin needs to be like more moist. Cause you know that Miami sun, that Miami humidity, honey, will get you. So I think I'm missing one thing. And that one thing is going to be underneath my eyes. I need to have some shadow to balance out the top. Like I have a lot of shadow on the top, but not shadow on the, oh, mother the mascara, like, how the f*** did that happen? I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, I put that mascara on a while ago. Let's try to spoolie that off. How could that happen? Mm, I know a solution. And I just grabbed it with a beauty blender. I'm gonna leave the under eyes alone because I'm, like, scared of anything else happening. What do you guys think about this look? I'm not used to using drugstore makeup like all of drugstore makeup on my face i've been there there are really good things that i found here i really liked the elf cosmetics concealer bitch did a job 16 hour cameo concealer let's see elf let's see let's see if it's gonna last but it really covered up the aqua assurance compact foundation j can't i The Revlon Skin Lights, goodbye. The Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter, goodbye. The J-Cat Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. It's a maybe. It depends on how long it lasts. The Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I was very impressed with the color it gave. I like it. This is a yes. The Elf is a yes. The Milani Push It Real Goo. The lip liner and the lip stick wow wow we wow i like it very nice it is very my armenian followers are gonna like die from like laughter that i'm saying this um it is very tzitzik like it means like booby <laughs> like so when you say it, it's very like tzitzik like it like hits the spot like it's very tzitzik you know I, I really like this i liked it with the bretman rock with the ferocity over it like I like gold reflect over red or coral. I always think it like photographs so crazy. The brow gel, there's nothing not to like about it or to like about it. It's neutral, it's a good. The NYX blush, Milaki, I keep. The eyeliners, doodaloo motherfuckers. I didn't like these at all. I think it like dried up skid. Not the vibe, sorry. One was Maybelline and the other one was Revlon. Goodbye. The Revlon tweezer. Our little friend can stay with us in this house. Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator I liked. We will keep. The lashes obviously I made so I like it. That's that folks. I did a drugstore. Oh, 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 oh. The Pixie Skin Treats. I actually really like this. I do think that it neutralized my skin. I didn't see any texture after spraying it onto my skin. So usually with sprays, what happens, like if I'm not, if I've never used it before, like I'll spray it and then like all of a sudden like texture arises from my face. This did not do that. It's very hydrating, it's very pleasant. I really, really like this. The Rose Glow Mist. And I feel like I can keep like spraying it on myself. And I like the way it smells. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the look? Do you guys not like the look? It's okay if we disagree, people. I don't agree with everything everybody does. You don't have to agree with everything that I do. Or like the cho like the looks that I like choose or whatever. But there's maybe a little some, 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 some you're gonna like from it. So... Let me know what that some, 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 some is down below. And if you guys really want me to do an ASMR video, please like um, sign a petition for it because I feel stupid doing it. Like that's the only reason I don't do it. Cause like I try to do it and then I start laughing and then it's like a whole situation. And then also I really like the eyeshadow. I used like three shades on my eyes and got the shadow look. So I really, really, really liked the eyeshadow. But yeah, let your girl know what you want down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
sub 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 subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when your girl comes onto the tube to hit you with the bell. I hope to see you next time. I hope you guys didn't think I'm fully crazy, batshit crazy, but 36 days in quarantine will do that to you. Have a nice day and a safe quarantine and I hope you guys love and light and nothing but happiness and health to everyone's family out there. I love you guys so much. God bless. Always and forever, my friends. Peace.